What's up gamers, GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the most wanted quest, purchase weapons from Aces Exotics or Aces Armory vending machines. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that button and show me that support, I greatly appreciate it. So for this challenge, you need to purchase 10 weapons from either of these two vending machines. Note that the vending machines appear in at least three places. These three locations where they appear is right here at Shattered Slabs. So when you come into Shattered Slabs, head over here. This is the northernmost area. This is where Wildcard originally was at the beginning of this season. And here's one of these vending machines. That one in particular is Ace's Armory. The second location you can find them is here at Brutal Bastion, right in the location marked right here. I'll show you a close-up of this area. So Brutal Bastion is a very hot location when you're going to complete this challenge. Unless you just happen to be in this area by chance, I recommend not coming to this one. And I'm actually going to show you the one I like the best last. So there's the Aces Armory vending machine. Note that apparently they... I'd heard that they're spawning randomly if you get Aces Exotics or Aces Armory. But I actually myself have yet to find an Aces Exotics. So here's the last, or not the last, but here's the third one over here at Faulty Splits. I haven't had a chance to validate if there's more than these three, but here's at least three POIs and at least three vending machines appearing at each. And so for me, I got all of my 10 weapons at Faulty Splits here. I'd say Shattered Slabs or Faulty Splits would be the best places to do this, not Brutal Bastion, because literally I find that Brutal Bastion is brutal. But hopefully you've got some gold. As you can see, I have 2,400 gold saved up. If you don't have gold, you're going to have to find some safes, or collect gold, which will help with some of the other challenges, and it's going to make this challenge much more difficult. But if you've got at least 2,400 gold, you can use a good strategy. So when you come up to this vending machine, and you're going to see in a minute, this there is uh, one of the cold-blooded there. They will eventually attack you. Um, but note that the vending machines have a, a boatload of guns. You'll see there's five different categories, shotguns, assault rifles, light guns, um, explosive weapons, you name it, it's in here. But the key for this one is, buy the cheapest weapons, which are 200 uh, gold. You can buy a rare weapon, exotics and stuff. The, they might be more expensive, but as you can see, they, you got the 200s here. When you get the exotic weapons in, um, then the prices go up. So I would say, purchase intentionally just the regular old rare weapons here. And honestly, like for me, I don't really care what I'm buying. I'm really just trying to complete the challenge. Um, it is pretty hot. This was my first match here. So I, every time I was buying something, I was just taking a quick look and looking around for enemies. I did not want to die in the middle of completing my video here. So again, just keep going up to the vending machine and keep repeat buying. Or again, across different matches if you want to spread it out. But otherwise, all you need to do is buy 10 times from this vending machine and the challenge will be complete. So I do hope the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and show me that support. I greatly appreciate it. Happy Valentine's Day, and until the next video, this is GamerDad out.